The rescue operation is now fully underway in this area of the Philippines. It's impossible to imagine just how many people have been left stranded like this. The storm may have now passed through, but the damage left behind is clear. What's now been dubbed a super typhoon has had devastating consequences. This is Tacloban City. The little news from here is bleak. Reports of dead bodies lying in the streets. Disaster officials say nearly all the buildings here were destroyed. Images from the typhoon in full flow give some idea of what it must have been like to be in its path. Typhoon Haiyan, possibly the strongest storm to ever reach land. Recorded wind strengths of up to 200 miles an hour. Flooding, landslides and fallen trees all added to the chaos. In this village, the wooden structures just couldn't withstand the storm. Rebuilding homes and lives in this province will take time. It's really terrible. The winds were so strong. Now I will have to rebuild my home. This is a tragedy. On the island of Cebu, 3,000 families were evacuated before the storm hit. But for many, this is what they're returning home to. This woman's house has lost its roof. What will I do now? My house is destroyed. I did not anticipate that the winds would be that strong. With communications to many areas still completely cut off, it'll certainly be hours, if not days, before the human cost of the storm is fully known. In the meantime, experts say the typhoon itself is now just hovering.